In this video, I'm gonna be working on the drive shaft. It's been a little bit difficult, but we're gonna to try to make this thing work and give you some comments about it. So I was able to get the dry shaft in. I was having an issue of actually getting the right alignment over here to get this into the transmission. Now, back up six, seven months ago, when my rear end was not in the right position because of the upper control arms, I was able to slip this in really easy, had no issues. Why? Because the pinion, instead of coming out the way it is now, it was facing down. So there was all this space so I could actually put that in. Um, now that it's properly in, in, in its right alignment, I couldn't get this at the right angle to get into the transmission. So what we ended up doing is approaching it from the top and bringing it above the pinion, and then I was able to get the angle right to get this in, and then we were able to drop it down. So coming from below, I just couldn't get the angle, but coming from above, we were able to do it. So it was kind of a two-man job to get this thing in, and then after that, I was able to just dial it in and, and torque it in so a little tip for you come from above mm -hmm. 